Hey YouTube, I want to do a quick video real quick. Uh, past couple days been noticing my temperature gauge pegging up to uh, between 210 and 260, uh, let's say that's 230 mark in the middle there. Uh, so I pop the hood and you look at the reservoir right away you think if you see water you have water in your radiator. Uh, I was freaking out a little bit thinking maybe it was going to be the uh, clutch fan was going bad or there was a, I've seen some videos where they said uh, the ground is going bad you have to rewire your harness and whatnot. Uh, so I started fooling around with that. I just replaced this motor actually two months ago with a motor with 76,000 miles on it. So I know this gauge is say 260,000 plus miles but it's only got 76, 78,000 miles. But the culprit was inside the radiator cap. Uh, when I did the motor swap, obviously pulled the cap off, and there's two gaskets inside the cap, one on the lower shaft and one that goes up and seals on the radiator itself. That one, apparently I placed in the wrong position, and it, uh, it blocked the suction holes that pulls the water from your reservoir. I actually bought another cap here. Let me find it. Yeah, I bought this other cap just now thinking the cap was bad. So, see them holes right there? I had this one, the gasket is there. But on the stock type, the gasket sits all the way in there and not in that little channel. Anyways, I had that gasket sitting here on this lip blocking the holes so it wouldn't suck the water into the radiator when it was low. Hence thinking I was not low on water, but I actually was. I almost blew up my motor. So if you're having this issue, your needle's bouncing around, you can't really figure it out, your clutch fan doesn't stop when you touch it, uh, that might be the culprit. I hope it helps somebody. 2006 Chevy Trailblazer. Have a good one.